how to tie the crabber's knot or the crossed running knot. Now, if you're looking for a slip knot, however, once you want to turn that slip knot into a fixed loop knot, this is the knot for you. You can adjust the size of the knot here, but if you want to turn it into a fixed loop knot, you just pull on the working end here and the bottom of the loop here, pull it like so, and you have now got yourself a fixed loop knot. So in front of me, I've got my rope. To the right hand side here will be my working end. Going off to the left is my standing end. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just pull enough rope through to tie the knot itself. And then in that rope, I'm now gonna form a bite on my right hand side here. Having formed a bite on the right hand side, I then take the working end and pass it over the standing end. And now that I've passed it over the standing end, I'm going to take my working end and pass it underneath the standing end. So pass it underneath the standing end. And then once I've done that, the next thing I want to do is I want to pass it over the top, that piece there. So pass it over that one, pass it underneath that one and go through the loop. The next thing I do is just pull a little bit through. And once I've done that, I then want to go over and down through that hole there. So pass it over, down through that hole, bring it up to the top, and now there we have it. We have now tied our crabber's knot. The next thing I'm gonna do is just dress it up a little bit, dress it up, so you can dress it up nice and smartly, and then I can adjust the size of the loop and have a slip knot. However, like I said before, all I need to do is get hold of the working end, pull on the bottom part of the loop there, pull it up nice and tight, snap it together, and we've now got ourselves a fixed loop. So that is how to tie the crabber's knot or the crossed running knot.